Um, so we've been on tour this summer at five festivals, but each festival was only about two or three days. So Roskilde Festival is 10 days. Yes. What's the special challenges of a 10-day festival? Well, 10 days festival means uh, longer working hours and, uh, and just stressing the audience more. Um, it's, it's the same, basically it just keeps on going. And we have 130,000 people gathered at the same place for almost 10 days, so it's, it's a tough work. More planning, I think. I'm a crowd manager, so I look at the crowd and the crowd challenges. But I would think that it's the same, except from the fact that if you're comparing 10-day festival with the two-day festival, we most likely provide five times as much uh, garbage. Uh, we consume five times as much food. And by that also gain five times as much problems for the environment, if you would look at it that way. So you are responsible for security at Roskilde. Um, what has the security or the crowd management aspect, what has it to do with sustainability? I'm here to present a lecture on, uh, on how the audience attitude changes from green environments. Uh, and, and my argument is that if you, if you have a nice, clean, uh, calm environment, then you won't stress your audience as much as if it's a party party all the time and a mess around you. This is general. If you, if you clean up your desk, you won't get as much stress at work. It's exactly the same when you're talking to audience. So the greener, the nicer your festival is, the better food, the more quality you have in your, your food, uh, the less security problems you will have. Okay, so what's your personal favorite aspect at Roskilde Festival concerning sustainability? Which project or which method do you like most at Roskilde? I like that we actually provide a more than music festival because that's what we brand it as, more than music festival. And, and the more than means that, that you can do a lot of other things, which is really nice. You can go to a relaxed city where there's a lake and you can hang out and you can relax and sunbathe if there's sun. Uh, you can eat really good food. You can, uh, it's, it's a nice festival for more than just going to the stages. Um, and, and that's nice because it means that you can actually relax at this music festival as well. Even though we still have bands like Metallica and, and huge, very good bands. Is there a special type of um, visitors at Roskilde? Is there a special type you could describe? No. No. Uh, it's, it's, uh, of course, we have a general age and general type, but in, in when you look at it, it's all types. And, and I think that's some of the part that comes in with more than music. If you provide a festival that is uh, providing different type of music, we are not a rock festival. We provide all different kinds of music, uh, 200 different bands during the period. And, and also if you provide where it's just interesting to taste the food and, and hang out in the campsite, then you will attract more people than just a 25-year-old going to listen to that band.